Yeah, it's quite a special group of people. Um, it's the first group that started in grade 8 when I started at Valdetriff, so it's quite nice to work with the guys right through. A lot of guys have sacrificed quite a bit in terms of where they've been from uh, from winter sports and things make, to make sure that they give themselves the best chance to play cricket at the highest level. And I think we're quite blessed with good athletes uh, they have got to get across the field and we've got a, quite a, a strong squad, so we definitely have a bit of depth right through the tournament which helped us. Jakub Espinar, Director of Cricket at Valdetriff and first team head coach. Yeah, it's very tough. Ackerman is a frontline bowler so he made his debut in the first team in grade 10 so his batting sort of uh, fell behind the wayside but we kept working with him to make sure that he got the capability of hitting a long ball but um, being a frontline bowler he didn't get all the opportunities he deserved and the 15 level he scored a couple of hundreds for the side so that was quite special to know that he's a batter but in a modern game it's important to get these guys to keep working on their batting and especially working on their second skills so he did quite well to get through fast especially the game against the his his 40 not out was world class. Yeah it's important I think it's, uh, for us we challenge the guys especially in the off season work where they've got a lot of time at the end to make sure that they work on their second skill because in season unfortunately the main skill is going to take preference but the guys have been quite good and I think it's also how badly the guys want it if they want to go to the next level I think it's very important from a coaching point of view to make sure you give guys the best chance to be free and one cricketers um, I think we were one of the better sides in the field throughout the tournament and I think that's one of the things also we talk batting bowling but we should never neglect fielding especially not in the modern game so I think it's a personal thing also to get back to your question and our guys are willing to work hard and put in the extra hours which I'm very grateful for. Yeah, that's, I think that's what we stand for as a cricket and um, our culture and our brand that we play is trying to play for the one next to you. I think the badge and, and the teammate next to you is, is quite important for us as a team and, and that's actually what takes us through is the culture of the team and the culture of the cricket of the school which um, I'm quite proud of the boys to stand together and, and to make sure that we stick together even when it gets tough. I think when we, when we got past uh, the Northern's playoff stages we really thought we got a good chance because that's always quite challenging to get through the Northern stages and then um, our motto for this thing is to keep um, believing and keep thinking of the one reason why it, why it should work. So that was our motto throughout the tournament and I think the guys bought into that and we just played, played with a bit of freedom and a bit of flair and we had different guys who stood up. If you look at our, our game throughout, it, it was, was very good for us up front but it was different guys at different stages throughout the campaign who put their hands up fast which was brilliant for me and that's these sort of tournaments you don't win by individual guys, you win it as, as, a, as a unit and as a squad and I must thank the support staff also, the guys have been brilliant, um, the guys were, were fit and were ready, we, we sacrificed quite a bit to get into this tournament and I'm very grateful for all the guys who work behind the scenes um, to make this, uh, this win possible.